take a fast car drive right out of this place. My name is Joey Matthew, and I am a model. I'll be up the running when the postman calls. As a model, I travel the world, I work very hard, I partied even harder. But through it all, I discovered a passion, a passion to cook and a passion to feed people. Oops. My dream, a love cuisine restaurant. So come along with me in my quest to create the perfect love pie. When I cook for my friends from the fashion industry, I like to make sure that my food is healthy, delicious, and completely devastating to look at. So today, we have panna cotta with raspberry coulis, my fried tomatoes with prosciutto and sour cream, and my stuffed chicken breasts. I'm not much of a chocolate freak. I'm more of a panna cotta babe. I love panna cotta. Reminds me of a gunshot in the head. For panna cotta, you use a simple mixture called gelatine. For about 550 ml of liquid, you need four sheets of this. They tend to be really thin, make sure you get only four in. Otherwise, the panna cotta is going to be too thick and not have the famous panna cotta wobble. A panna cotta without a wobble, in my opinion, is not a panna cotta at all. As someone once famously said, the panna cotta should wobble like the inner thigh of a 19th century courtesan. You need about roughly two to three tablespoons of water, just enough to melt this down. In a heavy based pot, you wanna add about 300 ml cream, 250 ml milk, about two tablespoons of sugar, vanilla bean. Get all of this goodness in here. Don't waste anything. And put it on to boil. It's very important to stir at this point because you do not want the sugar to burn black speckled white river of milky goodness. This will take a few minutes. No slaving over the stove, no sweaty face. You're gonna be as posh and elegant as the uber cool people we know. It's come to the boil. At this point, I want to squeeze the water out of my gelatin sheets as much as I can and put it right in there. I like to use a whisk to just make sure the panna cotta is fully incorporated. I'm not gonna take chances of lumpy bits of uh, gelatin stuck in my panna cotta. It'll just ruin the moment for me. So I'm going to strain it. Just like that. To set this, I want to butter or lightly oil my ramekins. Try using a little bit of colorless oil for this, it's very important. Just enough so the panna cotta can slide out. I'm just going to pour in enough and then put it straight into the fridge. I love panna cotta, so I'm going to fill it right to the brim so I get to eat that much more of it. These will go onto a tray and into my refrigerator for the next three hours. And now for the gunshot. 
and these raspberries are my bullets for it. To make a simple raspberry coulis, I need about 200 grams of raspberries. I'm going to keep 100 aside for later to garnish it and make everything look pretty. Okay. A little bit of sugar to sweeten the raspberries. Just two tablespoons. The juice of one lime. My special twist, the gin. Tribute to the queen. We put this on a fire for about five, six minutes. You want the gin to lose its alcohol content. You want the raspberries to melt in and become a juicy coulis. Just stir it so that it helps the sugar not burn. The last panna cotta I made, I melted some chocolate, put it in the freezer for it to set, poured the panna cotta on top of that and inverted it. There was this little chocolate peaky panna cottas, divine. The possibilities are simply endless. It's coming to a boil, slowly but surely. So now, my coolie is at a rapid boil. I'm just going to reduce the gin down a little bit. Now to get that desired consistency, I'm going to use a hand blender. See that jam-like consistency coming through? This is a coolie. Perfect. The panna cotta has been resting in the fridge. Let's plate our gunshot. My babies are done. Getting a panna cotta out of the ramekin may be a little bit tricky. In a small glass bowl, Fill it up with a little bit of warm water. What it does is, it loosens up the oil around and starts making the whole panna cotta bobbly enough to slide out of it in one easy shot. Take a really sharp knife and just make sure the edges are loose. There you go. Arrange a few raspberries on top. Take a little bit of the coulis. My panna cotta with raspberry coulis, a gunshot in the head. Do you have the Indie TV Profit app? All the markets, all the news in your own homemade, ready-made portfolio available there for you. We will right now answer what you should sell, what you should buy when markets are down. Download at IndieTVProfit.com slash apps. Get the best app from the channel you trust.